Hey y'all. Okay, so we're back for Wednesdays with Wendy. Look, you already know it's, we're very casual up in here. Invite your friends. They don't have to have makeup on. They don't have to have their hair done, obviously. Okay, so tonight we're going to talk about all things sunscreen. So get comfy. Hopefully we're not going to be too long here because I like to keep things short and sweet, especially for the people who are going to hop on the replay and watch this with us later. Look, I know people don't have very long attention span these days, so, but this is information you need to know. This is information that your friends and family need to know. So make sure you hit that share button down below and send it on to them. Okay. So this is information that you're not going to want to keep for yourselves. All of your friends and family need to know this and you might want to take a few notes. Okay. So let's just get right into it. This is not in particular to any specific brand or product, although at the end I will share with you what I love. You know, I always do. And so let's just get right into it. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to give you some particular ingredients. You know I'm all about ingredients. I'm going to give you some particular ingredients that you're going to want to go to your pantry and look at what's on the back of the bottles that you have in there for the sunscreen that you're probably already using. We are in summertime. I don't care if you wear, um, if you say, oh, I'm not in a place where it's you know warm enough yet to go out to the beach or to the pool or whatever. You should be wearing sunscreen every, listen, every single day, okay? So, this is so, so important, okay? Every single day, whether you have on makeup or not, whether you live where it snows, whatever, you should be wearing sunscreen every single day. Okay, so here we go. I took notes because I didn't wanna to forget to tell y'all something. Regular use of sunscreen reduces skin cancer risk by over 40%. Okay, so right off the bat, if that doesn't get you to put on sunscreen, okay. Over 40%, you guys, put on sunscreen. It doesn't take but a second to put that on. Get it on your skin. Listen, especially on your face and on your neck, if you wanna stop signs of aging, get your sunscreen on. Okay, sunscreen is your best protection against premature aging. And your skin has memory. So what you do today is going to show up, or. <laughs> I guess I should say what you don't do today, right? Is going to show up 10, 20, 30 years from now. So taking care of your skin with something as simple as putting on sunscreen is going to show benefits years from now. How many of y'all, let me just ask this question as I see you guys hopping on, make sure you say, hey, how many of you guys, honesty time, used to put on baby oil or vegetable oil, if we're being honest, good old Crisco, and go lay out in the sun. I did, oh my gosh, y'all. We would go fry ourselves to get that tan. Y'all, that's where age spots come from. And then now we'll go and buy all the products that we have to have to get rid of that hyperpigmentation and those dark spots. Yes, they are showing up now. We are paying for what we did all those years ago. So I always tell like my daughter and younger people, please don't do what I did. Listen to me now, right? So it's like, don't do as I, as I do. Don't do what I did. Listen to me and, you know, avoid all of that. So they won't have to pay for the mistakes, you know, that I did. So also, did you know that 90% of skin aging is caused by UV radiation from the sun. You probably knew that, right? So that's another reason to always wear your sunscreen, always. So this is something that I thought was very interesting. It is a myth that makeup with built-in SPF is as effective as sunscreen. Okay, that was like, you know, the beauty industry is like, a billion, multi-billion dollar industry every year. And so it was this big marketing thing, not that long ago that just started, that said, oh, foundation with SPF in it. And we all went running. We all had to have it because we thought, oh, we don't wanna age, we don't wanna get wrinkles, let me go get some of that. 
and I'll just, you know, wear that. No. Here's the fact. It would take almost 14 times the normal amount of powder and seven times the normal amount of foundation to get the desired amount of SPF that you should really be putting on your face. Now, can you imagine? 14 times the amount of powder and seven times the amount of foundation, sister. Do you know what you'd look like if you put all of that on your face to get the real amount of SPF protection that you need to walk out of the house? Okay. <laughs> Let's just imagine that glorious picture of you walking around town all day looking like that. Somebody, hopefully you have a friend that would tell you about yourself. Just saying. Okay, moving on. Okay, so this is what I need you to take notes on. I'm gonna give you a list of ingredients that I know, if you're gonna do your due diligence, that when you finish the, watching this live, that you're gonna go into your closet, into your pantry, into your medicine cabinet, wherever you keep your sunscreen. You're gonna go in there and flip over the back of those products and go, ooh, let me see if those ingredients are in my stuff. You ready? Okay, if you're watching the replay, you can pause and you can go write these things down. Or you can just take me into in there with you and go flip it and see if this is in there. Okay, some of these I can pronounce, some I cannot, so I will spell them for you. Are you ready? Here we go. These ingredients are things you do not want to have in your products. Are you ready? Here we go. Oxybenzone, that's the number one. Big, huge, no-no. And I'm gonna tell you why, but let me give you the, the list. The next one I cannot pronounce. Well, let me spell it for you, because I told you I would. O-X-Y-B-E-N-Z-O-N-E. -E. That's the number one. I'm telling y'all, that's in 96% of your sunscreen. So you're probably gonna find that one and be like, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, the next one I cannot pronounce, I'm just gonna spell it for you. O-C-T-I-N-O-X-A-T-E. That's another one. The next one I'm just gonna spell because I will probably butcher it too. E-T-H-Y-L-H-E-X-Y-L. Okay. The next one we're gonna spell too. That should tell you something. If you can't pronounce the things that are in your products, it's probably not a good sign, but here we go. Here's the next one, it's a long one. M-E-T-H-O-X-Y-C-I-N-N-A-M-A-T-E. That's not good. <laughs> Here's the next one. H-O-M-O-S-A-L-A-T-E. Here's the next one. O-C-T-I-S-A-L-A-T-E. And the last one. O-C-T-O-C-R-Y-L-E-N-E. -E. Those are the top offenders. And I will tell you the very first one, oxybenzene, benzone, whatever, that's the most common one. And as I said, that's in 96% of all sunscreens. And the reason why it's the biggest offender is because the EWG has revealed that, all, well, all of those chemicals that I just listed and told you to take notes on, they're all revealed um, that they are harsh chemicals, they're endocr endocrine disruptors, and they negatively affect the thyroid, okay? But that number one, one that I told you about, um, it causes issues with sperm count in boys and men, and it causes endometriosis in girls and women. Um, they have a flat out warning not to use that ingredient if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or um, especially if you're a young girl. I mean, there's a flat out warning not to use it because they know that it will cause those issues. 
they've tested thousands of sunscreens um, and only 5% are safe. So chances are what you're using, if you've never looked at ingredients before, chances are that those um, ingredient, those that ingredient list that I gave you, chances are it's in some of the products that you use. And look, no shame because I didn't know that either. And when we know better, we do better, right? Sunscreen's cheap. So get something that's gonna be effective and safe for your family. And especially the ones that are aerosol, if you have a baby, aerosols have no place. It's harmful to our lungs. It's definitely harmful for babies. So you definitely should not be using aerosols of any kind, really, around a baby. But if you have to, for whatever reason, do it away from them, put it on your hands and rub and then put it on their body. So if you have to. Um, let's see. And you know, you've heard me talk about this before. Our skin is the largest organ on our body. So whatever you're going to put on it, it's going to be absorbed into your bloodstream in under 30 seconds. So consider that with whatever products you're using, not just sunscreen, but your, you know, your lotions, your perfumes, Lord, that's a whole nother conversation that we need to have about fragrance. Anything that's listed as an ingredient as fragrance on your bottles, on your creams, whatever, they can pack a thousand ingredients into fragrance and they don't have to disclose what that is. Okay, consider that for a minute. I do have a solution for you. I'm not gonna keep this long, but for summer especially, okay, if you're gonna venture out, make sure you have your sunscreen on, okay? But on the daily, you need to be wearing a sunscreen on your face, your neck, and your chest at the very least. And I do have a solution for you that is free of harsh chemicals. I know that, it's documented. I have proof of that. I know all of the ingredients that's in it. So I just wanna mention a little bit about that to you. So if you're interested, you can message me about that and I can tell you how to get access to that. And it is the Lime Life All-in-One Perfect Sunscreen. I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about it because I want you to be informed and I want you to know what you're putting on your body. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for hopping on. So a little bit about that, it's called Perfect Sunscreen for a reason. So it moisturizes, it primes, and it protects. It moisturizes, it's super hydrating. Um, there's no white residue when you put it on like you see with some of the others, and it fights signs of aging. Who doesn't want that? Okay, so you can, it primes, so there's a primer in it. The ingredients work as a primer, so you can put that on if you're gonna wear makeup. I have no makeup on, so but you can use it as a primer, okay? It has SPF 30, okay? You definitely want an SPF of 30, whether you're using it under makeup or not, okay? So it's organic, it has plant-based ingredients in it. You can tell it's about time for me to get another tube. I use it all the time. Um, plant-based ingredients and organic is crucial, and you wanna know where that where the ingredients come from. That's important too. Um, it is filled with anti-aging ingredients. It's vegan, it's cruelty-free, it's safe for the coral reefs. So when you're going out at the beach and you're having fun in the water, we're environmentally conscious too. Um, it's Leaping Bunny certified, paraben-free, and um, it's also you have to know this, once you open it, it's good for six months. So knowing the shelf life of your products and that it's effective when you put it on, it's good for six months. So what's in it? Since I told you to make sure what's not in your products, you need to know what's in it, right? So what's in this, the active ingredient is zinc oxide. There's 19% zinc oxide in this tube. That's what makes it work. That's why it's so effective. So it protects you against UVA and UVB, which is, makes it a broad spectrum sunscreen, right? And what else is in it? What makes it so good for your skin? Well, there is chicory root in it. So that contains beta carotene, which increases collagen production. 
What does collagen production do? That gives you the plumpness to your skin, which helps fill in those fine lines and wrinkles. Who doesn't want that? Um, and it also plumps and hydrates your cheeks. So, you know, who doesn't want a little bit of that? It gives you that little bit of fullness, right? And that overall youthful look. You can even mix this with your foundation. So you'll have a true SPF foundation, right? Um, it's specially formulated to work with our wax-based foundation. So that's important to know as well. There's also vitamin B in this sunscreen. And what does that do? That helps to decrease wrinkles. It helps to decrease uneven skin tone. It helps to decrease that hyperpigmentation that now we're paying for because we laid out with baby oil and Crisco on our skin. <laughs> and it also helps even to heal acne. So if you have a teenager that struggles with acne and you're trying to convince them, hey, you need to wear sunscreen because you know they're not gonna give up their makeup, this is still good for them, okay? And it also has aloe in it. And we all know that aloe helps to soothe the skin and it's an anti-inflammatory. So remember that you can use this alone or under the makeup and the Skin Cancer Society recommends that we apply this every two hours if you're outside using it as a sunscreen, right? And especially even more if you go out swimming or into the ocean or whatever and you get it wet, then you definitely wanna go ahead and apply it even more frequently. So let me just show you what it looks like real quick and then I'm just gonna put it on my hand so you can get a good look at you know what it actually looks like and the consistency. And I'll tell you, it doesn't have like an offensive smell because it is an, um, an organic product. Some people think, oh, organic products smell offensive. It does not. Um, so let me just show you that real quick and then we'll wrap things up. This is what it looks like straight out the tube. That would be enough for me to do my whole face. And then you just rub it in. I'm putting just that little bit on my hand, but that's enough to do your whole face. Okay, that's it. It's not sticky. It's not greasy. It smells good and that's it you guys I mean it literally would soak into your your skin and you're good to go you'd be protected all day to wear that moisturize prime and protect and you're done okay all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this information this is our Wednesday with Wendy today I like to give you some resources and some information and some education, and I thought this was really rather timely with the beginning of summer being officially here. So if you have any questions on skincare, um, on ingredients especially, check out the Think Dirty app. It's great to have for you to take that app into your bathroom and type in a product and it'll give you a, an actual rating. I did that and I literally threw stuff in the trash. So. If you're getting into um, knowing all about the products that you're using and you want cleaner things for you and your family, that's a great place to start is with that app. And if you want a great, great facial sunscreen, this is the one you want. It comes back out tomorrow. It's been sold out for a long time for a good reason, but it's back tomorrow and contact me. I'll tell you exactly how to get it. All right, y'all have a great night and I'll be back and talking with you soon next Wednesday, next Wednesday, if not sooner. All right, bye you guys.